So what is the abnormality you are seeing on this x-ray? Yes, there is a well-defined cavity over the left mid-zone uh, with a thickness of more than 4 mm. And how do you say it's a cavity? You should be able to trace two-thirds of the circle. So basically, what is a cavity and what are the causes of cavitary lung diseases? Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Mohamed Afiz. How do you define a cavity? Cavity, according to Fleshner Society, it's a gas-filled space of low attenuation area within a nodule, mass or parenchymal consolidation. The wall thickness should be more than 4 mm. And how do we know it's a true cavity or false cavity? It must be differentiated from its mimics such as cyst, emphysema, bullae or cystic bronchiectasis. The differentiating features I have explained in my video on Buller's lung diseases. I'll be sharing the link down right here. So what are the causes of the cavitary lung diseases? I have made the mnemonic as PP cavity. The causes of cavitary lung diseases are all pneumoconiosis except asbestosis. Then pneumonia conditions, bacterial, tuberculous, any fungal and parasitic. This section I'll be dealing in the coming slides. Cancer, uh, C, squamous cell carcinoma, lymphoma, metastasis. Then uh, under the cavity, autoimmune, granulomatous polyangitis, rheumatoid arthritis uh, or vigorous, uh, vigorous granulomatosis. Vascular conditions such as septic emboli, pulmonary infarct. Infections, lung abscess, necrotizing pneumonia. Trauma, pneumatocene. Youth means uh, congenital conditions uh, like uh, pulmonary sequestration, bronchogenic cyst, congenital pulmonary airway malformation. So what are the causes of uh, cavitary lung diseases? PP cavity, pneumoconiosis, pneumonia, cancer, autoimmune, vascular, infections, trauma, youth. So what are the pneumonic conditions causing cavity? As we said, tubercular conditions, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Then uh, non-tuberculous mycobacteria. Under it comes the most important is the mycobacterium avium complex, which is the most important. And other organisms such as Kansasi, Malmanoisi, Xenopi. Then uh, under uh, tuberculosis, the other is the rapidly growing mycobacterium, mycobacterium abscess, fortuitum and chelone. And uh, what are the bacterial pneumonias causing cavity? Any gram negative bacteria can cause cavity. So what about gram positive? It's the nocardiosis. And uh, what are the causes of necrotizing pneumonia? Streptococcus pneumoniae or Haemophilus influenzae, Klebsiella pneumonia and Staph aureus. And what about lung abscess? These are the anaerobic organisms such as Prevotella, Fusobacterium, Streptococcus, Miliary group. Coming to the fungal infections causing cavitary lung diseases. There are a n number of causes. Aspergillosis, PCP pneumonia, zygomycosis, histoplasmosis, blastomycosis and so on. How do you remember it? All fungal pneumonias can cause pneumonia, uh, can cause cavity. So what are the parasitic conditions causing cavity? Basically there are two. One is the Paragonimus westermanni and the second one is the hydatid cyst. So these are all the causes of the cavitary lung diseases and the treatment varies according to the cause and etiology. So the causes are PP cavity and under, pneumo uh, under pneumonias you have the factors of tuberculosis, bacterial, fungal and parasites. Under fungal, any all fungal pneumonias. Under bacterial, all gram negatives. And also under uh, parasites, you have Paragonimus westermanni and hydatid cyst. Okay, thank you.